Good morning. Today, we are down the farm. Probably for the last time ever. Yep, the farm's been sold. So basically, cut a long story short, um, the farm's been for sale for like months and months and months, years it's been for sale to be fair to you. Um, but no one's really made an offer on it, you know, not an offer that the farmer liked anyway. Um, but a couple of months ago there were some guys down here milling around, having a little measure up, having a little look about and that. And um, they basically put in an offer, the farmer accepted it, they've signed contracts, they've paid a deposit. So we've all been handed notes to leave. So basically I have got till the end of March to get out of here. Um, but I'm not gonna wait till the last minute to try and find somewhere. So I just thought, you know what, let's just call it a day. So at the moment, as it stands, I'm literally pulling everything out and I'm just moving it away from the site. Very long winded because all my dino cell and all that side of it hasn't actually been up for more than a year yet especially all the office upstairs and all that, which is really annoying because there's so much labor gone into that, but it is what it is. I don't own the land, I have to play by the rules. So as you can see, I've started stripping all my dino cell out, all my ductings and my golf buggy on there as well. All my bits and bobs have come out. Uh, Ollie and Brad are down here and they're currently pulling it apart with their laborer. So as you can see, my lovely little unit is no more. Ramp's got to come out, all this has got to come out, all this has got to come out, all this, all that's nearly out. How you doing Ollie? Yeah. Having fun? Yeah, nice. Living the dream. Extractors are gone. Well, I'm getting dino cell now. I've got to try and move the dino. I need to try and get a forklift to get the dino out of here. I've got to take all these walls down, all the ceiling. Say me, I ain't got to do nothing. These boys have got to take it all down. But they're being productive, it's all happening. Last little tour of upstairs. Eh? Huh? Working though, ain't ya? They've been working really hard and I'm just walking around shoving a camera in that day. Living the dream, Charlie. Yeah. Right, Brad? <laughs> a lot of people say that when they see me. Look at my office, what have you done? Maybe working next door, mate. Well, you asked you to it. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on. It's really annoying. I'm like sitting here in traffic, crawling along with like a load of stuff out my unit that I only just put up a year ago and now I've got to move it all to storage because I've got nowhere else for it. It's so frustrating. Like, I was really happy there. Like I really like that little unit, you know what I mean? You know, I've been on that site for, near, well, 10 years. 25 I was when I moved on that site. I'm fucking 35 now. I just got that unit just how I wanted it. Loads of customers coming through, loads of dyno work, renting the dyno out, power runs, making some really good videos, load of things lined up to, you know, to doing that. And now it's like, yeah, you got to move. It's not your farm. We've sold it. Someone else owns it now. Get out. And it's just true. There's nothing I can do. I've got to go. I literally don't have a choice. It's just really frustrating. It's like so much hard work, so much labor, so much time just wasted. Like if I knew a year ago that all this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have built the dyno cell. I would've just put the dyno in there and just got on with it. But I put the dyno cell in there to try and keep everyone happy, you know, like no noise and not upset anyone and stuff like that. Cause I thought I'd rather not upset anyone than upset someone and then have to rectify it. I thought if I put all the hard work in at the start to keep everyone happy like I did, and then no one gets upset, and they didn't. And now it's all got to come down. All of it. Ah well, as is life. Just have to keep looking, won't I? Cool. So, just dropped off uh, another load to storage. Come back, look at this. All that hard work, mate. State of that. You can see the lengths I went to, or we went to, or they went to, to insulate this to keep the noise in. It's actually a, a double studded wall. So it's not actually joined in the middle. So any vibrations on this ply doesn't echo through. And it worked very well. 
Whoops. <laughs> all the windows are down. All oh, this has got to come down. I said all this, and I. Thing is, until the stills come out, because I've got a still running down there, and then the still runs across there, and then it goes across here and down here. Till all them stills are out. I can't get the ramp. Actually, I might be able to get the ramp out. Still, they're gonna come down at stills. <laughs> Still, they're gonna come down anyway, and then this ramp just gets unbolted and it comes out as a hole through that way. Obviously, as you know, that door swings if you've been following the channel for a long time now. Oh man, such a shame. Such a shame. So, yeah, if you know of anything or anywhere I can put the dyno, let me know. Right, let's crack on. So, been cracking on. Uh, I kind of forgot to film it, but I've had some uh, drastic changes. It's not a lot of lights in here because we've disconnected the electric, but dyno's gone. Uh, I've got to take the rails off the floor, the little rails that it slides on. Um, we kind of just, the dyno was sort of sat here. We put the recovery ramps down under the dyno, winched it up, turned the dyno sideways so it was like long ways up the ramps, put scaffolding tubes under it and then rolled it onto the back of the truck. Uh, it was quite long-winded, but we got it done. And uh, I, I forgot to film it. So yeah, the uh, dyno's now off into storage, which is brilliant. Um, now today, my aim of the game today, um, I've stripped this wall and I took all the insulation out. So my aim of the game today is just to carry on unscrewing stuff. So I've started taking the trunking down. They've disconnected the electrics for me, so it's nice and safe. Take the TV down. If I can see how much of this I can get stripped out, really. And get it all loaded into the van. So yeah. That's the job for today. Exciting stuff, eh? Oh, mate. Right, let's crack on. Got all the trunking down. Started there. Stripped all the rest of the wood off. Started over here. Got all the electrics off. I'm losing my voice. I'm not even talking to anyone, and I'm losing my voice. Uh, yeah, slowly but surely. Impact went flat, and I forgot to put my spare battery on charge, so I've done that. I thought I'd uh, natter to the camera for five minutes, so yeah. There we go. Sweating, absolutely sweating. Cool. Mate, I am hurting. Uh, can't remember where I quite got up to. I've got all the insulation out, all the balls off now. Took the door off, stripped this door down. It's all in the van or on the roof of the van. Uh, I'm kind of just ticking along. I don't really got a plan. You know, you just unscrew stuff and just see how it works out. I've literally just been doing that. Um, it's all right, if I can get this stud work down here, some of it's screwed and some of it's now, which is annoying. If I can get that down and I can get that down today, I'll be happy because once all that's down on Saturday, I can unbolt the ramp, swing the ramp round, and it will slide out and it will go under there because at the moment, see the ramp comes to about there so it will go under there but it won't go under here so if i can get all that out at least i can get my ramp out then and that's just the majority of my big stuff then uh need to move my oil heater that's the only other thing but that's not a problem really it's just lifting um there's still obviously all the plasterboard ceiling uh there's insulation above that because it's a full ceiling as well uh, you might be able to see it better from out here you can see where the floor is up there and then the steel, and then the ceiling's level with the bottom of that steel, so there's a drop ceiling all insulated along there. Because I try my best to keep everyone happy and keep the noise in. And they sell the gaff. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, there is nails and screws everywhere on this floor though. Uh, I should really sweep all this up, but they're going to be smashing the floor out anyway and getting rid of it, so I don't know whether it's that doesn't matter too much really but i'll just buy some new screws I'm not fast yeah right i'm gonna get all this light out let's crack on i've done my shoulder in and all it is half past four and i'm calling it a night because i'm tired um i've got the rest of the wood down up there i've got all that front bit down i uh, don't know well you can see it Stripped all the front off of there. Man, proper going back to basics. It sucks. But yeah, uh, now there's enough room here that I can get my ramp out now. So all being well, I'll take that out next. Obviously, when it's not raining and it's not half past four at night. But yeah, 
Cool, should really tidy up, but I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna park the van up, shut the shutter, set the alarm and go home. See you in a bit. Another day in paradise, although it's raining today. Tropical, isn't it, Ollie? Tropical. Uh, ceilings come down. Started loading a load of joists in the back of the van. They will fit, just got to slam the doors. Uh, it's like a full ceiling in here. So you could kind of just about see, you can't see. But there was the joists upstairs went across and obviously this is a drop ceiling with insulation in between. Again, all the effort I put in to keep the noise in. Lovely, so all that wood there is literally from that there basically. Uh, we've probably got another eight or nine of them to get down. I'm gonna load that up and then uh, another run to storage. Hey Ollie. Look at a mess. Still gotta get the ramp out. Still gotta get the oil burner out. Still gotta move the sofa. Still gotta get that bench out and a load of other tooty little bits. So yeah. All good fun. Thought I'd just uh, keep you updated. Yeah. Right. Let's crack on. It's getting dark. More wood, gone, no lid on it now. Back to the hay barn it once was. Got to get the steels out. Ollie's took all that wall down. I'm loading all this lot in the van. It's been a long day, I'm tired. Half the day spent driving to the storage place and just offloading it all, but it's all right, it's okay, it's working out. Mm, what happens now, right? They have you, mate. <laughs> None left. Just steels and some plates, but that's all right. Staircase is down. That was heavy, very heavy. And no, it does not meet regulations. You're right. Oh, my little floor, my little walkway. So much work, gone. Still got to get the ramp out. I'll do that later. Need to uh, strap this down somehow. I forgot to put the strap around it. I'm try and open that door because there's a hook here. You might be able to reach through, you know. We stand up here, have a look. Yeah, I'll get a hook on that, I reckon. Hook on that down to there. Job, job. Right, strap it down and go, yeah? Yeah. Let's crack on some more. I've nearly lost my voice. Won't have a voice tomorrow. And that is the end of that. I've got to take like my ladders and stuff. Obviously, I've got to take the MX-5. Um, a few little tools and bits and bobs. Other than that, I'm about done here. This literally reminds me of what this place looked like the day I took it. Obviously this stud wall weren't here. It just had them white cladded boards along the side and that was it. They weren't each laid or anything. Oh and obviously there was no alarm in here. Wow. <laughs> Many, many, many hours of tuning cool cars, building cool stuff. So much I've done in this unit over the last 10 years. Genuinely didn't want to leave, but if the land's gone, the land's gone, isn't it? What happens now? Don't know. That might be it, I reckon. <laughs>